The popularity of women's cycling is growing, and one of the most anticipated races on the UCI Women's World Tour is La Course by the Tour de France. The 112.5 kilometer route is based on stage 10 of the men's race, taking riders from Annecy to Le Grand Bonnon. The event has developed since its inaugural edition in 2014, which had a very different parkour. On a commencé à mettre la course sur les Champs-Élysées, puis pour qu'elle soit plus sportivement, plus intéressante, le col d'Isoar l'an passé, mais c'était une arrivée sèche seule. Là, il y a quatre cols. Il y a le, le, le final qui est celui des hommes par le col de Rome et le col de la Colombière, c'est-à-dire un vrai défi physique pour les femmes sur le Tour de France. It's very important to be here today to show that we want uh, more, uh, more visibility uh, for women cycling. There is a lot of coverage for us, which is very important that we can show how interesting our races is and how professional we are already. And this is really a place you can show it to the whole world. The race is so important for us because it's big climbs and we are also proud to, to show the, the, the people that we are also available to, to do it. No? It's quite important because there's such a big, you know, um, media here um, and there, it will be live, you know, around the world. So it's, it's, it's really big. There's a lot of media and uh, there's a lot going on around the Tour de France, the men's Tour de France. So it's good for women cycling if you're also there and show that we also can do it. It's really a way to, to show the, the route that uh, we are aiming at, which, which is a route of uh, equality and mixity in sport. It's a good uh, showcase to show how great women's cycling and how interesting and dynamic women's cycling can be. Huge crowds gathered as the riders set off for the fifth edition of La Course, one that would go down in the history books. And as the race neared climax on the Col de Rome, Cecily Utrub Ludwig made an impressive solo attack. Absolutely amazing. I will remember this day for the rest of my life. You know, <laughs> having people cheer for you, you know, <laughs> on the climb. And even I saw so many Danish flags and people having, <laughs> you know, banners with Sicily or Triple Ludwig and, you know, yelling my name. It's so crazy. It's, oh, I love this sport. That brave attack would eventually be swallowed by an imposing three-rider group consisting of the UCI Women's World Tour leader's jersey wearer Anna van der Breggen, Cecily's teammate Ashley mulman Passio, and Giro Rosa winner Annemiek van Vluten. You feel like you've been hit by a truck, you know, but you just uh, try to deal with the pain and, you know, Thomas Campana, my sports director, screaming in my ear, like, go, 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 deal with the pain. <laughs> with Cecily caught, one of the highlights in the road racing season would continue to unfold. We just showed how good women's cycling is. I mean, this is crazy. People out there should watch more women's cycling, please. We just did a perfect job as a team. And then today, having <laughs> the best day of my life. <laughs> Who is going to win La Course by La Tour de France? Van der Breggen finds a little bit more pace. It is an absolute drag race to the line between these two. Van Vleuten hauling away to the wheel of Anna van der Breggen. Is Van Vleuten going to get her on the line? It is literally going to be a victory in the last 20 metres. Well, I hope we made it an exciting race, so uh, so it helps to, to support the women's cycling. I think we did. Um, yeah, it's special to race here with so many people, knowing that the guys also do the same circuit. So it's nice, it's big for us. Um, and I think the course from this year is, yeah, was really cool to do. It's not that long, it was a hard course and it, we could make a nice race on it. So um, I think it's really important. I hope um, that we had a, a good race today on television and that uh, everyone enjoyed it and it's a very important one for to promote women's cycling and I think there's no better way to, way to promote women's cycling like this.